fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with my Mania update, my May update, and a finished object. So sit back, relax, grab your beverage of choice, your craft of choice, and let's chat. There's a couple of things I'm going to point out right off the bat. The lighting in here is terrible. It is a windy, rainy, gray, cold day here in Alaska. If I had finished my work in progress yesterday, it would have been beautiful, nice, and sunny. But I guess that's what happens when you live in Alaska. You never know what the, temp what the weather is going to be like. I feel kind of bad for my husband. We are having a birthday party for my eldest son, who turned 29. Oh, yes, um, when's? No, Friday he turned it. But we're having a birthday party today. And he barbecues, so he's going to be out in the rain barbecuing. Poor man. I'm just glad I don't have to cook. But anyway, how did everybody's mania go? Hmm, sounds great. Mine went okay. I uh, said I was only going to do four projects. I was going to start two, and I was going to work on two works and progresses. So I did end up doing that for mania, so... Let's get on with Mania. The first one I worked on was the Snow Angel by Mar Beck, and it's from uh, Serendipity Designs. And it took me over two hours <clears throat> to get all the floss picked out and put where it needed to go. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is all I did. <laughs> And on the Mania Projects, I only did them for one day, except for one of the other ones in here that I'll show you. But yeah, uh, I liked it. It just got really bored after separating all that floss. It just took forever. So that's why this one did not get worked on as much. The second week, I decided to do a work in progress, so I pulled out my white willow stitching, the pumpkin, tribal pumpkin, and I got quite a bit done. In fact, I had to put this down because I don't want to finish it just yet. Needle. So I had from this line over all done and a little bit up in here so I did from this line over and this equals one page so I have a one page finished in July I will be taking this to the super summer knit together in Nashville Tennessee so if you're going please uh, stop in and say hi because I would love to say hi to you and uh, so this is going with me. I did have someone ask me what the colors were, and I did post it in the comments, but uh, I'll show them again. The green is 4045. Oops. Fumble! Darn. So it's just nice green. Different shades. It's really pretty. And the other one is 4130. And that's dusty rose, copper, a little bit of orange. So I think that turn, is going to turn out to be a great uh, finished object. Ooh. Hair everywhere. Okay, so that was my second week of May my third week of May, I kind of broke my own rule. I went ahead and uh, picked out the Celtic Christmas by Lavender and Lace. So this was the new start. And I enjoyed it so much, so much, that I got a lot of it done. Look at that. I got a whole bunch. I worked on this almost a week. So, show you close up. The only um, modification that I have done on this is instead of using the DMC gold, I had some treasure, petite treasure braid left over from my 
Hawaiian Guard Mandala, and I went ahead and ordered two more uh, boards of it. And that is the gold I am using in here. Oops, in here, and I really like it so much. It's so pretty. Look at her face. Her face is beautiful. So, um, I watched Karen of Round the Twist, and she's doing a cross stitch as well. And she came up with a really good idea on how to keep track of your bobbins. She puts her bobbins, which, thank you, Karen, great idea. She has her bobbins on a stitch holder. So you can put all your bobbins on here, and if you put them in order, there'll be this is a great tip. Thanks a lot, Karen. Let's so see, just slide them on in. And then you've got them all right here, and they're not loose in a bag, or you don't have to have a uh, bobbin box. It's much easier. So when I get back to this, I'm going to do that with that one. And in fact, I'll do it with this one as well. So, in the fourth week, I pulled out the Raven Queen. Raven Queen, and this is by uh, Mi uh, Mirabilia. Yeah. And I got this building done and I started the um, shadows on that building. I also, after sitting and looking at it for a couple of days, decided I did not like the one over one skin. So I unpicked all the one over one skin that I had done and I'm very happy I did that. I may do that on a different, but I just couldn't do it on this one. So that's the Raven Queen. That's where she's at. So I am so happy. So my mania, I'm very happy with my mania. I would have liked to have gotten more done on her, but every time I got her out to look at her, I wanted to do the Celtic Christmas. So I just went ahead and did the Celtic Christmas instead. So that's why the Celtic Christmas has so much done. Okay. Now, so that was the mania. So the May stitching um, was first off the Brooks Books year-long stitch along with Stitch Mania. I went ahead and I got caught up. So, oh, I should have just left it in the bag. I finished the March, the April, and the May. So I'm very happy to be caught back up with that again. So June will be the Flying Monkeys. Or Flying Monkey, there's only one on here, so. It's this little dude right here. So, yay! I am so happy I am caught up with that. And it only took me like two, two days, and it was caught up, and I was happy. But let me tell you, that scarecrow has tons of stitching. You wouldn't expect it to have that much stitching. Yeah, it does. I couldn't believe it. So. Ugh, come on. There we go. And that's what these are. I've got an extra. Oops. Have an extra um, stitch holder from knitting. And I'll just put it in there and put this back in there. And I'll be ready to do my June. Okay. Now, you guys, if you don't follow me, if you follow me on Instagram or on any of the groups that I post to on Facebook, you've already seen this, but it's done. The Hawaiian Garden Mandala by Chatelaine is finished. I put the last bead in, which was the heart. I'll bring it down. The heart bead in the center. I finished that at 11 o'clock last night. I did two modifications. I have already told you about not doing the one over one shell here. I decided not to do the one over one shells there as well. So, shall we get a closer look here? Scoot up. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of pretty beads on the outside. And there. 
the turtles. Oh, and it's even the right way. The turtles, the middle one, you pick your own bead and find it. So that's a Schwafsky mini round six millimeter. That's what I picked for those. So, there. Then the, the uh, volcano. I really like this filigree looking stuff for the volcano. I think it's really pretty. Okay. And oh, there's beads right here. And then beads in this section. And then beads on those sides. Okay. And then the center. There's beads around the pineapple. And then beads in the Jessica flowers. And then that's all beaded. And these beads are huge. Let me see. Look how big those are. <laughs> They're like standing off of the thing. So getting this uh, frame should be very interesting. So there we go. And move down here. Okay, so let me just kind of, there's the birds in there, and I think the birds add a lot. Each of the pineapple, I should show you that, each of the pineapple have got a lot of back stitching in it. I think this texture uh, stitch looks so much like a pineapple. Um, let's see. Hmm. close up here. This is on 32 count linen. I purchased the package of uh, the kit from European Cross Stitch. So it's all silks. There's a little bit of DMC and the most of the DMC would have been in those small um, shells but I decided not to do that. There is some DMC intermixed in these panels, in this section of panels, but that was it. Most of this is silk. Uh, Joann's is now having a 60% off um, framing, so I think I'm going to try to carefully um, iron this and then take it this week before the coupon is no good and have them do it for me. Okay, I didn't show this. This has got beads in there as well. And there is stitches in these where it's really white. So if I had known that, I think I would have gotten a colored background. But I'm not sure what color. It might have been a very, very light blue. Because green, I don't think would have worked. Because there's way too much green. Um, maybe even a really light sand color. Sand would have been good. Really nice sand color, I think, would have worked well. So I'll back it up, and then you can see the whole thing. But I am so very happy. I got it done in less than a year, because July 1st of 2015 is when I started it. And I'm very, very happy. I took a month of October off, and I took, I believe, another month, month and a half off stitching it. So it's around eight or nine months to do this. So, and since I'm a stay-at-home wife, I worked on this a lot. A lot of times housework didn't get done because I was doing this, but it is finished before our 30th wedding anniversary. So I need to put my initials on it. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to do that. <laughs> I might might just stick it in one of these little corners maybe the corner at the bottom maybe put his initials and my initials and uh, the year we got married and the year I finished it I think that sounds like a good idea so um, when I get this fully finished I will bring it back out and show you guys but this one is Feeny I am so happy so so happy um, I have a lot of leftover silks, and a lot of leftover silks. I have a lot of uh, the Petite Treasure Braid leftover. So I'm going to have a lot of, I need to put it in my stash. But yeah, 
purchases. Okay, purchases this month. You guys will be proud of me. Was not for a new project. I had to buy, I think, three more skeins for the Celtic Christmas. I purchased the two skeins of um, Petite Treasure Braid for the Celtic Christmas. And I had to pick up another thing of gold beads and the red beads for Celtic Christmas. So my grand total of spending last month was $16.50. And that was with shipping included. So I'm very proud of myself because I didn't purchase another kit. I didn't purchase a pattern. I didn't purchase unnecessary floss. So I'm very, very happy that I, uh, I did it this month. You know, there wasn't a stitch marker. There was no yarn purchase. There was nothing because I got the word last month that I'm going to uh, Nashville and I'm really, really happy about that. I went to the first Super Summer Knit Together and this is their fifth year, so I get to go to the fifth one. So I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, uh, I think I've, I have all the questions answered that I've kind of answered back and forth, but if you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate. I'll, I'll answer them within reason, of course. Uh, what I'm going to work on now that I am done with mandala I think I'm going to do the Celtic Christmas I think I'm gonna get her finished because there's not too much left to go um, July I'm taking the pumpkin I get to Nashville a day before the, con the uh, convention or the retreat before the retreat starts so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that and probably stitch on that that first night and get a whole bunch of it done because there's not that much more to go. I would say there's a couple of days worth, maybe, maybe a week, but um, I'll get that done in July. And then I will work on Raven Queen because I want to get that one done next. And uh, the Blue Dragon, I have taken colors out of the uh, kit for the Blue Dragon, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get back to that one if I ever do. Because I have so many Mirabilias. I have, I think, like six Mirabilias sitting back there. <laughs> I have all my pet, all my stuff in that. In the second drawer, the top drawer is all the other things. But, yeah, I think I'm at that point that I need to get the ones I really want to do done. So, I don't know if I'll ever do a Heaven and Earth. I may be giving away my heaven and earth patterns and if I do decide to do that of course I will do a drawing but right now I'm still debating so who I hope that everybody had a great mania it seems like everybody did because all the videos I've seen and all the pictures on uh, Facebook it's been really great I hope that everybody has a great June and yeah Happy stitching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.